Hello and welcome to Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Brayathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. We are in Ostford, but we are ready to leave. As we have a lot of different tasks to complete today. And let me check. So we need to exit a town to the north. So we'll take this ramp. Would be nice to know in advance how the terrain is. I mean, when I got down to Rantast on the previous episode, you might remember there was a steep ladder. So it was a one way only. It could go down, but going back up was not possible, I believe. But if there is any other way to do so, so that we can like make sure we're taking the best path possible, but well, I guess just it was initially planned go north first and then go west. We'll make our path as we as we go. Luckily, since we're not far away from from all the objectives we have here in the north, we gotta. Find a gate to Four Hill first, here with you. And I'm sorry about my pronunciation, but that W at the end of a word. That one is difficult for me. And anyways, gonna go there. Gonna claim the bounty. But there's something else we gotta find in there. Then we'll move to Tomb Point and defeat Auk which we missed on the previous episode. It was a total shame. Anyway, here's it. Here it for you. We needed to find them. I, I don't remember exactly. I do remember it was almost entering Four Hill. So just gotta press the the delete key until I can find it. Either Harry Hinchcliffe, well Harry Hinchcliffe not here. Okay, no. Oh, I was way north. Go back a little bit. Careful there. Ah. Oh. Okay, here they are both, the Tomb Rover Captain and Harry Hinchcliffe. Wrong Gambit. That's basically it, so we can remove this quest. 
and remove this quest and instead I'm gonna take Lauk back into the quest log. Okay, we got an artisan scholar scroll case. But nothing else. And what do we have here in that scroll case? A jeweler's journal. Let us use all these rep items. Okay. That's better. And now... Let me see... A way... To... Get to some point, but yeah, I, I think there is no direct way over here. way. Okay, I see it now. The entrance to Tomb Point. We can skip every single mountain here until we find Falk. So, this is gonna be quick. Ah, there he is. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna stick to the original plan as it was laid out on the previous episode. Let's go first to Parat Rat and recover the treasure, then we'll go to Rantast. And I think we're about to begin another lengthy quest line in there. But as soon as we're done there, we'll go to find Nat Rapkins in the Even Reels. I think we can. Worst case scenario, uh, follow the shore from Rantast up to the north. So yeah, it's gonna be a repeat of last time, in a way. Let us go to Barat Rat first, before I forget. Because you know I tend to forget some um, important information. I wouldn't like to skip this one accidentally. No marker. For the treasure. 
right here. So only uh, old moldy book, which we'll need to bring back to the rangers. And that was basically it. So, oh, 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 we didn't break a leg. <laughs> Great. And let us try our luck once again. No. Ah. Yeah, lightning doesn't strike twice. So we have it right tossed on the horizon. A nice view, but not as as breathtaking as the other screenshots we've been taking on, on the other episodes. Unfortunately, we were able to drop without dying. Let us... Go and talk to these guys. Just in case, already grabbing some task items. Elliot Bancroft. What can I do for you? I'm doing nothing suspicious. Just standing around waiting for the next boat. Wait, what's your name? Who sent you? Basil, you say? Then it is time we get to work. Might have taken a moment of your time. The Tomb Robbers are far more organized than we have previously thought, and Rantast is the hive of their villainy. Everything they plunder from the tombs and crypts of Evending comes through here. We have been watching for a while, and each of us comes up with a way to hinder their efforts. If we can curtail them enough, we may allow the Rangers an opportunity to strike. This would let them end the Tomb Robbers, recover the relics, and strengthen the restored friendship between Ostford and Tinadir. Stick with my associates here for what we feel needs to be done. The list is not long, but it should make a heavy impact. Stay a moment. I have been monitoring the patterns of the tomb robbers here. When they come, when they go, who is here and when. There are patterns in everything. In Rantas, the patterns run deep. It is always the same robbers I see around this camp. There are a few that travel on the boats to get new relics, but they do not come ashore. The rovers who are here do not change. If you were to defeat a number of them, it would take time before any would notice and be able to come and support. This would give us the opening we need to strike. Stay a moment. The rovers use a group of robots to transport the relics to this island. The only other ships they have beyond that are small dinghies, not strong enough to carry the relics from the island. If we can strike there, Rantast will be far further isolated and the relics will remain on the island until we want them to move. The rowboats are mostly along a small channel that runs through the center of the island. There may be one or two on the far side, however. Burn them all. Smoke on the water. The Tomb Rovers store all of the relics they bring here. They sort them and, depending on their value, place the more valuable items in crates and the less valuable items in barrels. The crates are kept deeper within the camp in more guarded locations. The barrels are strewn about here and there. They are still valuable, but the crates are the most valuable. I have not been able to get a count of how many crates and barrels there are around the island. The rangers will need to know how many there are so they can prepare accordingly. Please get their numbers for me. Okay, so let us begin with what we need to do. Okay, so let us take care first of is robbers and let us start with the crates and the barrels as well uh, 
and here we have the robot. Alroid, but it doesn't sound familiar yet. At some point, we're gonna get a quest to kill the guy, I'm sure. But for the time being. Let us complete the other tasks we have. Ah, oh, jeez. To defeat now only better and tomb robbers. We're gonna be more selective with the guys we fight. That's it as far as Tomb Robbers go, and now for the crates and barrels. It'll be here somewhere. to go. Okay. Here's everything else we're missing. And let us return to these guys. Be of service. Good. This will tell the rangers how many men to bring and how much they will be carrying back. Greetings. Once all the pieces are in place, we will be able to signal the rangers to strike. This was an important accomplishment. What can I do for you? Now we know all the relics will stick here on Rantast until we are ready to take them. What do you need? Chaos reigns within the camp. It seems the time is ripe to launch the true offensive. Stay a moment. The information you brought to me tells me that the time has come to launch an assault on Rantos, Periathan. I have sent word to the rangers and they are awaiting our signal to launch their assault. When you are ready, speak to Leighton Kips and he will send a signal. The rangers are going to need your help if they are to retake Rantos. A simple quest to recover ancient Dunedain relics from the hands of the grave robbers who stole them has gone terribly awry. The thieves will not allow the rangers and their allies to take their treasures from them so easily. Oh, I don't know how I can help. 
I do not yet wish to reveal myself to the Tomb Robbers as being the spy. Do not think less of me for remaining here in hiding. You should hasten to help the rangers around the island. I believe they have set up camps around the three sites at which you found stockpiled relics. One stockpile is right here, one is in the center of the ruins and one is on the west side of the ruins. The Tomb Robbers will likely assault the rangers at all three sites. Okay. So, let the quest, let the assault begin. East encampment is under assault. Is this and the West encampment is under assault as well? This is a situation in which the indicators in the minimap are a great help to determine where to go. But truly, I cannot believe. I mean, it would be confusing without them, so. so I guess congrats to those who were able to complete this quest without this visual indicator. I'm sure I, I did at some point, but it's so much easier now with this. Did it Tomb Defender. Okay, so we got that did, yeah, and that's what I thought, that we were close to, to completing this one. As we've killed, yeah, a lot of, of Tomb Robbers on the area. So we're still missing a lot more. Gotta go to the west encampment. Gotta uh, the center encampment too. Let's go to the center encampment. Is that it? The east encampment? No, not yet. encampment how many of these assaults are are there left enter encampment here they come Okay, now I'm to go west. Uh, let us check this in the meantime. Tomb Warden. Oh, that sounds like a nice title to have. I would like the titles I used to have. Yeah, that a warden somewhere, like that Tomb Warden or or Warden or or something or or something like that. But Tomb Warden doesn't have that musicality, in my opinion, so I'm not gonna change it. Not yet. Ah! Ah! 
but still good to have that one. And now we need to kill 180 of those. But for the time being, the Tomb Robbers have been defeated. Greetings, friend. Are you ready to make back up at our camp? Speak to me when you are prepared to leave. Greetings. Rantas the Sours and the relics here have been secured. As we speak, the Tomb Robbers are fleeing. Hopefully we shall never hear from them again. You have performed a hero's deed this day. We will not soon forget your aid. Take this reward with my thanks, Briathan. Well, I don't know which one to take. this one and what now we have done good work here and I am happy to be able to return home and get back to real work the few rangers I spoke with before they left were very cordial they were excited about getting these relics back to Tinadir but were also looking forward to a more open beneficial relationship with us for it something we will certainly welcome the rangers told me our hallway at Tinadir wanted to speak with you I believe it is to thank you for your help and aid, but suspect there will be more to do. I have that feeling too, but before going there, let us go look for Nat Rapkins. This is the only quest that we have right now pending for completion. Mathems and more Mathems. Are some weapons made? No. Broken long swords? Yes. Okay, how far are we? 600 meters. But this is the, the point where you see where this area got its nickname from. The land of Ever Swim. Because this lake is gigantic and there are many cases in which the fastest way to travel is by swimming. That was somewhat alleviated after the revamp. As you see, some um, swift travel locations were added here and here and here, -ish, I believe. But before then, especially for the epic, you, well, there were a lot of, there are. A lot of back and forth quests in Anuminas, but without the, the boat travel, the first way to go was swimming. And this takes a while, even some this relatively short swim from here to here does take a while, so imagine if you needed to make a longer swim. I do have memories of that, to be honest. But swimming. And that is even with forced march, which makes us swim a little bit faster. So yeah, if you are one of those original players that got multiple ads through that through this area before the boat travels were introduced, I take my hat off to you. Because that is a test of patience, for sure. Now, at Rapkins, are we going to find him or are we going to find like the body? Yeah. Here we have it. You startled me. You there. I attacked by Gordine. Terrible creatures. Take my pack, bring it, ask for it. You were Gordine. So, where to first? Let us go to Evending first. 
What? Do you want to attack me? We're not gonna even aggro on me. But anyway, let us go to Tino, dear, as we can turn in some of those quests and then take the swift travel back to Ost for it, so that we don't use our milestone skill in case we need it for later. How can I be of service? The Tomb Robbers will threaten our history no more. I thank you greatly for your work to stop them. I know we sent you initially to repair the pack with Ostford, but to have you and them go above and beyond and deliver us Rantost. Words cannot express my gratitude. Would you do something for me? The odd with Ostford has been resorn, and we stand stronger today because of that. It is a great burden off of my shoulders to have those wrongs now stand righted. Now we turn our attention to the western shore and to a friend we have had far longer than us for it. A friend who stands at the end of his time and weeps for the state of the land. Use the boat and venture across the, to the Eve Spires. Speak with Longbow once you arrive. Let him know the rangers will do whatever they can to suit his pains. We're gonna leave that one there. Just in case. At some point, we get to that area. Now, let us go to Kulang and turn in the old trough quest. And I think the rest of them are to be completed in Ost for it. Here's Kulang. Ah, shadow is on my spirit. Alas, I am sorry you found no great treasure. That trove must have been looted long ago. But in truth, an old book like this is a treasure to me, so I suppose the rovers must have found it worthless. I have little to offer to sweeten your bitter loss, but I will give you what I can for the book and the scroll. Well, atomic tracking is useful. I mean, it's so useful, it's one of these cases in which you say I really gotta save this for when I need it. But even then you never really know if this is the moment in which you need it or if you're gonna need it later and then miss it if you use it. So... so I guess what I'm trying to say is this time of tracking is gonna stay in the bags for some time, quite a long time. While well, we get one of these quests of the like of track this and they don't give you any clue whatsoever, that's when we'll use it. But I don't know when that's gonna be. But for now, let us go talk to these guys. I'm sorry. Did you need something? I was afraid you would return with such news, Veryathan. Nat was a good hunter, well liked by the people here, and will be missed. I will return the pack to his family and give them these sad tidings. You say he spoke of the Gorodine? Yes, I feared as much. They have always been a danger to those who find themselves in Eminuel, but it has been many years since last they proved so bold. Something must be done, Beryathan. I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? I do not know what made the Gorodine choose the life they lead, whether it be fascination with the form of the wolf or some other reason, but I do know that they have become entirely evil. These men wear wolf skin cloaks and bedeck themselves with ornaments fashioned from blo bloody teeth and fangs, and it is said they move with unbelievable speed and attack with strength beyond that of a normal man. Nat must be avenged, Beryathan, and the Gorodine taught not to attack the people who live around the lake. Journey northwest into Eminuyal and defeat some of these evil men. Return to me some of their weapons as well, that I may destroy them. So once again, we'll take that as a in-case scenario, in case we get to that area at some point, but I doubt it. You bested Harry Hinchcliffe. Ah. To be honest, I didn't think you would be successful. It just goes to show, doesn't it? 
Basil Gamich, the arbiter of Ostford, is here in town. Speak to him about the business of your reward. What do you need? It will be some time before trade with Forhill resumes, but you have taken a step on the road for all for all of us now, Verithan, and I thank you for it. It's a sorry day. You have returned from Tumpoin? That means that you have defeated Tauk? Amazing, Beryathan. If you report to Basil Gamich, the arbiter here in Ostford, he'll give you your reward. That will trouble us no more. I cannot believe it. Greetings. Ari Hinchcliffe is no more. Splendid, Beryathan. He was a menace, and if travel to Forhill becomes commonplace again, it is good to know the road will be safer without the like of him on it. Here is your reward, and thank you for your service. What can I do for you? You defeated Thaug, and you reserve, deserve this reward, Briathan. The bounty has remained unclaimed for a long time. I right, thank you on behalf of the law-abiding folk of Last Ford. What do we have now? So we have the Corridine of Eminuel. So, I think that is actually what we'll need to do. We continue the quest for Narsil's report in the Silithar quest. I guess it's good we didn't take that one as a just in case scenario, but rather as a continuation of what we had. And since the Gordon are most common here in Eminuel, I guess that means we can take the boat there, as there are many other quests that we can advance in that area. Okay, so here we are back in Tinadir. Let us grab this boat over here. And I already told you, but I love the board on an eventing. What do you need? So let us see how the landscape is in the Eve Spires. What do you need? Lorfindel. It is an age and more since last I saw his face. You bring back many memories. I have fought many battles for my kindred, yet long ago I laid aside my sword and that was no idle choice. Even Glorfindel's words will not sway my resolve. I thank you for your kindness in bearing Glorfindel's invitation, but I think I will not go to Mladris. You, you say a ranger sent you. He is wise to know the lake and forest are in pain. You should not be giving your right name away like so. The men from the north, who dress like wolves, are not like the rangers from the east. They worship the land, but then use it to create evil and darkness. They are a foul breed of man, and I do not trust. They have begun coming further south, even to the edges of this grove. This causes me great worry. Let's not be hasty. Above the lake, hmm, where the water pools and flows, then thunders over rocks and stones, I see men, hum hum, dressed as wolves, splashing in the waters. They carry foul bags, filled with poison and death, hum, and they spread it upon the waters. They even reel cry waterfalls into the lake. Perhaps you will help, hum, my elf friends. Alright, so... I guess this is officially the first end we meet in the series. So this surely deserves a proper memorandum of the event. That's what we're gonna do right now. If you get a leave would come just a little bit closer. That's perfect. But <laughs> He's so big, we need to really zoom out for him to get into the picture. Mm. 
and girl if is happy to see you too as well and impressed I presume so okay we can take many different quests here in the area so longbow has sensed that the event rules are threatened he has never been wrong, so even though I have not seen what he feels, I trust this threat to be real. The enemy is likely the Gorodine, men from the north, the cold wasters of Four Hill. They dabble in dark alchemy and evil magic, things that turn nature into abominations. Throughout the camp they have at the even reels. If even a few remain, then more will come. Uh, here, what do we have here? Will you lend me your ear? We do not know how long the Gorodine have been encamped within the pools of the even reels. They might have already done great damage to the lake. We must know what they are doing there. The Gorodine believe in nature and its abilities and powers, though they do not understand whence these powers derive. While we use the virtues instilled the rain by the Valar for good and healing, they use it for more nefarious purposes. They should have gathered up several pouches of herbs and plants they are using within the pools. Find them, bring me these pouches. I may be able to determine what exactly they are poisoning the lake with, and if need be, may be able to concoct a cure. Mind my words, traveler. I have devised a plan to deal with the Gorodine and have proposed it to Airhield. He agrees on this course of action. As for this plan, we, and by that I am afraid I mean you, shall steal several of the words that the Gorodine have scattered about their encampments. These words are simple tribal symbols, commonly used to keep evil spirits at bay by superstitious cultures. That is not to say that such spirits do not occasionally roam the world in one form or another, but I am afraid a simple chunk of wood would do little to deter them. In any case, I need you to gather several of these and bring them to me, then we can embark on the rather more clever part of this plan. All right. Picking where to go. Mind my words, traveler. Greetings, traveler. It is not often that we receive visitors here so far from the open roads, but you are welcome to stay a little while if you wish. Take care around Longbow, however. He is a bit short-tempered for an Anod and has little trust for the folk of Eriador. In fact, if you would gain his trust, then there is a small matter with which you might aid us. An unusual tribe of men called the Gorodine have recently come down from the mountains to the north and have begun to hunt these lads. Thus far they seem little more than savages, but they are hostile to most whom they meet, and I have no intention of allowing them to disturb us here in the Eve Spires. Nevertheless, my husband Litwiffin frowns on unnecessary slaughter. Therefore, I wish to learn more about the Gorodine before I take further steps to drive them away. But it falls to me to maintain the watch upon this grove, and I have little time for such expeditions. If you could sur surreptitiously gather a few relics from their encampments in the hills north of here and bring them to me, I might learn a good deal more about them, for I have dealt with a great many tribes of men and others in my years, and many of their customs and symbols are familiar to me. Will you lend me your ear? I'm afraid that speaking with the Gorodine is unlikely to buy us anything. They are very nearly feral creatures, and the influence of the orcs means they are unlikely to look upon elves such as myself kindly at all. If they discover us here, there is every likelihood that they will attempt to drive us out, and while neither Longbow nor I would allow it, to have such bloodshed occur on our very doorstep would wound Litwiffin deeply, and I would not wish to involve him so. I would ask you to hunt down some small number of their hunters and warriors that have wandered south of the river. Not so many as to cause them grievous hurt, but enough to warn them that these lands are not theirs, nor are they welcome here. It would also be best if you could find one of their leaders, for such tribes are often deeply superstitious and the loss of such a leader can set them aback greatly in fear. Stay a moment. It used to be a rare sight to see Longbow weep. In the many years I have been here with him, it happened once, maybe twice, per year. Usually when a sapling he knew got snapped in a storm. Over these past few months it has happened more frequently. The pain event the misfeeling is slowly killing him. While these tears are created from pain and evil, they are a great force for life and good. Take this vial, it contains a few tears which I gathered last week. Pour them into the pool at the top of the even reels. The waters will be purified and restored. 
But yes, we got plenty to do in here, and I guess we can do as much of it as we can in the time we have left for today's episode. I'm not sure we will be able to do it all, but we can at least make our way to the main Gorodan camp in the north. Ah! And we have the Slayer Deed as well. Gorodan Slayer in Evendim. Do we need to go to defeat hill crawlers? I'm not sure. So let's kill this guy just in case, but no. That was not needed. Let us try and climb over here. Doesn't seem there is a safe way up there. So yeah, gotta go back a little bit. No, no, no. Mom, would you let me climb this? For God's sake! That's it. Let us go back to assailment as I believe. That will be most beneficial. So let us check what do we have here. Let us defeat the Gorge Stalker. As we still need a couple of those. Alright. So we got the makeshift claws. This is a Soothsayer we need to repeat. <laughs> and he didn't start any chance. So... We need to find some items. We gotta be here. Okay, yeah, the words. What we're looking for uh, alongside the basket. Well, the items. Oh, a basket, a spear. Okay, here we have a body. Okay, so basically... What we're missing now is the spear, but we still need to collect some wards. And afterwards we would be ready to move north 
to the even rails, back to the even rails. But we are also missing a couple of, of the Gordine Gorge Stalkers. The question now is where, where are they? Here's one. One of the Gorge Stalkers and the Spear. Got a drop. But first, let us make sure that we pick what we can from here before we take the jump. Okay. So now one more Forge Stalker here. Okay. And one more ward. Let us try and find a ward while we make our way out of here and towards the even rails. Okay. Where's the scroll case we got? It's in here. We already know this one. And now let us add to the quest block other ones. I think only missing those. And there is one more marker, but that's to the south actually. Let us go to the even reels first. I don't remember, did I found my mouse location there? No, I should have. Now, because instead of, well, we are close enough. Let us let us do that. That way, instead of of making our way back when we get what I, all that we need in the even reels, we can just map here and make life a little bit easier for us. Okay, that should be it. Yeah. So now we are. Well, not far away from. Um, from the even rails. In the meantime, let me check how are we doing here with the Pilgrim of Evendim. We're only two quests away, so we're definitely gonna get that one. All of them. Not sure where that one is. The Even Reels, the If Mir, the Swift Brook, Twisted Crop, Rushing Dale. Maybe we're lucky with that. The City. I'm feeling quite confident with the explorer deeds and the quest deeds. And we are already here. But that's just a little bit more. 
the even reels. That should have picked out that one from the deep. There it is. Let us continue. Alright. Gonna be quick. And we've gotta collect the pouches of poison as well. And thankfully all of them are close by. That's two, and here's the third one. And the fourth one. So this is the pool where we'll need to use the tears in. The water's calm and softly glow, they feel cool against your legs. And just three more for a dine to be able to leave this area. And the last one is right through here. I think that's it. Let me double check. Cha cha cha. Yes. And yes. Yes, that's it. So we're ready to map back to the Spires. So it was fortunate. It was a, a good thing that we didn't use the milestone skill earlier. This has saved us some time. And here we are, back to turn, ready to turn all this quest, so let us do that before the end of the episode. How can I be of service? It will take me some time to study this, and if fortune is with us, we will not need to use what I learn. What do you need? Good, you have done exactly as I asked. I hope the Gordine were not too much trouble. In any case, now we have what we need to begin setting our final plan into motion, which Erkiel will describe to you. Alright, so... Okay, so got two deeds done at the same time. Pilgrim of Evendim and Ally for the Wardens. Let's check that really quick. So here's our standing. Uh, deed bestowed, kindred with the Wardens of Anuminas. To earn the title Warden of Anuminas, that, that would be a nice one to have. And we have Warden of Evendim. We'll need to complete 30 more of these quests. So that means we got 15 Lotro points. From the reputation deed, plus 10, that would be 25 Lotro points. Allied to the Wardens. And yep, 25 Lotro points. And here are Virtues, let me see. Let us go now with Loyalty. With that, all that out of the way, let us continue turning all these quests in. Ah, I see you have returned with the relics of the Gordine. Excellent! They are crude as I expected, but they also show more sinister signs. Some of the work is influenced by the custom of orcs and goblins. Their relationship is distant, and perhaps they have had no dealings with each other for some considerable time, but it does not work well for our chances of coming to a recent understanding with them, I am afraid. Little if in Thander's temperaments aside, I fear that our next course may be best to be one of decisive action. Hopefully he will not be too upset with me. What do we pick here? Um, oh, whatever. How can I be of service? It seems you have fought well against the Gordian, but from your descriptions of their savagery, I realize that I have been hasty and foolish myself. Forgive me. I have fought a great many battles and lost many things I have cared for, and become something of a creature of habit. The way of the sword comes to my hand and thoughts as readily as breathing. And I fear it may always be so. I have misjudged the Gordine. They are feral and brutal perhaps, but unlike the craven orcs and goblins, it seems they are yet unbowed and carry a great pride with them. They will not be cowed by such an assault. 
I will consult with Lituipin on the matter, for he is gentler and, in his own manner, a more clever elf than I, and certainly his mind is less clouded with thoughts of glory not lost. We will speak again shortly when I have had more time to consider our next course of action. How can I be of service? The water glowed lightly, then felt cool against your legs. I believe that means it worked and whatever damage may have been done by the Gordine should fade from the lake. What do you mean? With those things done, it is now time to draw the line. Might you spare a moment of your time? Now then, as a warrior of some renown, I am all too accustomed to doing battle and I always contend with an offer with and offer the threat of death. Against such means foes as goblins and orcs, this threat itself is often sufficient to break their spirits and send them back into the darkness unless they are driven by powerful masters. But not so with the Gorodine. As Lituifin has reminded me, men such as they who are still free of spirit and pride often place greater value upon the unseen and unfelt worlds than they do upon their own lives. The words were the clue and it is that that and it's and it is this that we shall play upon to keep our respective camps safely separated. You may have noticed a number of Gorodan markers along the shore of the river just north of you. Those mark the current boundaries of the Gorodan's territory, at least as they see it, but they do not in any way prevent them from crossing further into a stretch of the forest. That, that we shall now change. I have changed the words you brought me and added a few flourishes. If you add this to the boundary markers, they will no longer represent mere territorial boundaries, but words of doom to the Gordine, a warning that any who cross put their very spirits into absolute peril. The Gordine may not respect our swords and bows, but this, this, but this they shall not lightly ignore. So, as you defeated the Gordine, they began to scatter and flee? Good. They will think twice before returning to that place. Stand now and rest water. My roots taste fresh water once more. Hmm. For the first time in a long time. The even reels are purified. So yeah, I guess we were able to complete all the quests that we got for the expires we still have some more of those to do but that will be a matter for the next episode as i think that this is quite enough for now thanks was once again for joining me on another episode of Citadel guard adventures and i will see you on the next time that's it for today stay safe take care and see you later bye bye